Hey everyone, it's Misha, AKA Pink Cat Hiker. Here to remind you that if you enjoy these videos, make sure you like this one and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so <clears throat> I left Disney Animal Kingdom. Um, before I left, I of course had to go stop and get souvenirs. Um, they had the cutest little Navi uh, plushie in the Pandora store. So I had to go back over to the Pandora store to get that for Adelaide. Um, and then I got something for a little pen for Rusty because I had to get him something. But they honestly didn't have really great stuff for men in the Pandora store or women for that matter. Uh, they had lots of great stuff for the kids, but not for the adults. Um, it was I was actually kind of surprised at some of the pricing. I had he always heard that um, Disney World was slightly cheaper than Disneyland. Nope, <laughs> that is absolutely not true. Um, but it's okay. Uh, while I was in the parks, uh, I ran into some of my dearest friends from California. Random, who randomly happened to also be in the same park on the same day. Um, and uh, so that was really fun. I'm glad I got to see them. But I checked into my hotel in Fort Lauderdale. I'm right on the water. So this will be nice once the sun comes up. Oh, I can't see over there because glare. But that's the 17th Street Bridge over there. I, uh, I'm actually in the morning of the next day right now, and I was too tired to even think straight. I, it took three and a half hours to get here driving from Animal Kingdom, so I was dead to the world. <laughs> I just kind of crawled in bed, so. So today is day 15? 16. Oh my gosh, day 16 on the road. Today is Rusty day. Today I pick up Rusty. So um, he should be landing in the next like 30 minutes at the Fort Lauderdale airport. The hotel that I'm at is only 10 minutes away from the airport. So I'm gonna wait until his plane lands. That'll give him time to taxi and unboard and get to the terminal. Um, and uh, today we are going to Biscayne National Park and doing one of their um, designated charters. It's a three hour tour. <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward to that. Fort Lauderdale, water taxi. There is a tropical storm. So apparently if I close my screen on the camera, it stops recording. So uh, there is a tropical storm right now over the Atlantic um, that they believe will turn into a category one hurricane, but it is going back out to sea. So it won't be making landfall here um, or I don't think it'll be something we need to worry about while we're on the ship either, but we are seeing a lot of the uh, cloud cover from that. So um, it should be nice though um, to have the cloud cover instead of the sun beating on us all day today, especially since we're going to be out on a boat um, later this afternoon, which I'm excited for. So we're going to pack up here. Rusty's here. You can see all the remnants of all of his stuff. Um, we're going to pack up here and then head towards Miami. All right, this is the visitor center, which is upstairs along with the gift shop. We 
We are all checked in for the historic tour. Wolverine hair. All right, I don't remember the name of this little K, but it's the one with the lighthouse. We get to go up to the top. We've arrived at the beach area. It's this this right here. That is literally it. Because this is off limits. Storm recovery. Which has been a bit minute. I also don't think they're doing a very good job, uh, the park service, of keeping it clean. I mean, there's a freaking Coke bottle right there, so. It's still pretty though. So what did we think of Biscayne National Park? I loved of what, it. Of what you saw, at least. No, it was great, it was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> the, the boat tours, it's worth doing. It's worth going and checking out this island in the, the lighthouse right there. Um, would love to come back, as we talked about, and do some of the snorkel tours and you know, get in the water and check out some stuff, but I, I, it definitely worth coming to do. Yeah, it's fun. There's a drink. Okay, so we made it to South Beach. Holy shit. I did not realize that South Beach, Miami Beach, was not on the mainland. Talk about stressful driving. Fuck this place. <laughs> I will not stay in South Beach again. That's for sure. Um, we are at the President Hotel, which is uh, the President, the Penguin. They're the same thing. Was looking at the Penguin because it was a little cheaper. 
ended up booking at the president because it said that they had valet parking. I asked about it because there was nothing in the front and the front desk attendant, I don't remember his name, it started with a J, literally could give two shits. He seemed like he just was so over his job and this was beneath him to be here. He was like, yeah, we don't do that. I'm like, you don't do it? It's on your website. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that. You can park at the municipal parking lot. It's a, it's a block that way. Well, then we hear from other people that it's full. So I don't know where we're parking tonight. I'm so over Florida. So over Florida. <laughs> I'm also hungry.